Hi everyone, my name is Sachin Bhatnagar and I am an educator and a developer from India. In this screencast, I will show you how to play with jQuery and the CSS class selector. Classes are flexible selectors and categorically are more useful than any other selector in CSS. They have a respectable performance advantage over other selectors in JavaScript and they can be overloaded. The fact that the class selector can be overloaded opens up a whole new world of possibilities for its use. To understand what overloading means, observe this example. Here we have an h1 tag with a class name of title style. And really what this does is set a 45 pixel sans serif font that is also bold. Now let's say for specific instances of this tag on the page, I want to set red as the font color. Or let's say you wish to turn the text red when something happens on the page. In either of these cases, the easiest way is to overload the base class like this. By adding the highlight class, we simply set the color of the text in the h1 tag to red, while the core styles of the text such as font family etc are derived from the base class, title style. This is called overloading a class. Now because classes can be overloaded, they are perfect for programmatically changing the look and feel of an element. jQuery provides us with a simple interface to add or remove a class name. This allows you to programmatically overload a class when needed. By using the add class method, an additional class name can be appended to an element's class attribute while the remove class method removes the set class. Let's use the add class and remove class methods to build a slide out menu where individual menu items slide out when the mouse pointer hovers on them and then slide back in when the mouse pointer moves out. Start by opening the animated menu begin.htm file from the lesson 4 folder for this example. You'll see 5 boxes on the left edge of the page. These are list items from an unordered list with the class name of navigation. What we have done is pushed each list item off the edge by 188 pixels. We are also animating the left property of the list items and you can see the vendor prefixed transition property here to ensure it works in all major browsers. What we want to do here is add the open sesame class which will push the list items to the visible edge that is 0 pixels. If we manually add the open sesame class like so, you can see that the list item pops out from the edge and is now visible. Let's do this programmatically. Start by selecting the list item within the navigation unordered list like so. Now since we want to add and remove the open sesame class when the mouse hovers over the list item, we'll use jQuery's hover method which accepts two callback functions. The first one executes when the mouse pointer hovers over an element. while the second function executes when the mouse pointer leaves that element. Then within the mouse over function, type in this within the jQuery selector method. When your mouse pointer hovers over a list item, the this keyword refers to that particular element and by using it like so, you can manipulate that element rather than all the elements in the selection. Now use the add class method and specify the open sesame class. Let's go back to the browser and see what happens.
as the mouse hovers over the list items they animate out from the edge but they don't retract back in when the mouse pointer leaves let's make that happen so just like the add class start by selecting the this element like so and use the remove class method like so save the file go back to the browser and as you can see list items animate out and retract back in as desired now while the add class and the remove class can be used for dynamically adding and removing classes they do require us to define the add and remove logic you have to know when to add and when to remove the said class so jquery also provides us with a toggle class method which adds the given class if it's not there and removes it if it's already present this makes it easy to toggle as the name implies a class when needed let's use the toggle class method to create these animated toggle buttons when you click on the button it animates as if it has been pushed down and turns green when you click on the button again it switches off and returns to the original state For this example open the toggle button begin.htm file from the lesson 4 folder. As you can see we have three buttons on this page. Back in the html these are nothing but anchor tags that have been styled using css3 to look like buttons. What we want to do is to add the toggle on class when the user clicks on the button. Let's manually overload the base toggle btn style for one of these anchor tags and add the toggle on class. As you can see when the toggle on class is added the button looks as though it's pressed or switched on and when this class is removed it returns to its switched off state. To do this programmatically let's select the toggle btn class which represents the button's base state and we'll use the click method as we did earlier but this time we'll simply use the toggle class method to add or remove the toggle on class the toggle class method will ensure that the toggle on class is added if it's not present and removed if it's already there back in the browser refresh the page now when we click on the button it nicely animates to show a pressed down state and when it's clicked again it returns back to its off state The animation happens because we are using the CSS3 transition attribute to animate a bunch of properties as seen here in the style definition for the buttons. So those were some of the things that you can do with the CSS class selector and jQuery. This was just a sample of my course Introduction to jQuery on Learnable. If you liked it, then head over to Learnable and I hope to see you in the course. Do check it out.